cutout bags, I mentioned I created myself with my sewing machine. And I created one bag, um, at least for uh, my signings. And this is after my regular briefcase bags just failed on me. And I got tired of paying, you know, $120 a pop for, per bag and then just have it break on me like a, a year and a half or something. Have the zipper uh, teeth break off or or the zipper come off it altogether or just get scratches on it and just, just look worn out and terrible, right? So I made one bag. I took it into the signing. Um, it was really useful. And so then I thought, well, since I've got the fabric, I should make another bag because as notaries, we have documents that are signed and then we have documents that are unsigned and we have stacks of these documents, right? And so then I got into the habit of simply having bags that I kind of color coded um, for unsigned documents, signed documents, and then one that I would take into the appointment. And so that same habit kind of um, got adopted into my creation of the doc bags, um, where I have, and that's why I have um, the nice bags, I call them my fancy bags. And then I've got um, the fabric bags, the simpler bags, I call them, um, that, that are these ones, you know, they don't have the lining, they're not made with like a faux um, leather, but it's, um, it's um, like a material, I don't know how to, how to call it, but it's a polyester uh, weave material. Uh, they're still very durable, just like the other ones, um, because they've got a reinforced um, um, handle here, like the other ones do, too. So, the way that I use my dock bag, my regular one, well, I just fit everything into it, you know? So, like a notary, um, I've got my journal in it. Um, I actually print out my own journal pages, and I just put them in a little flimsy folder, so that's nice and thin, and, and I don't like paying $25 a pop for, like, a hardcover uh, folder or um, a hardcover book, you know, of notary drafts every time. This is just something I do. But um, I've got my little file thing of notary acknowledgments for corporations and power attorneys and things like that. And my COVID era clipboards for signing, you know, in porches and outside and things like that. Um, and my stamp, my big fat stamp. And these were always really hard to put in a briefcase because briefcases are so narrow. You know, they try to make them very sleek, but then where do you put a big fat stamp? Or some of you have like the round ones that are also, again, big and fat. So there's that. And then my manufacturer was nice. He gave me, he made me like a wristlet because he makes women's purses. So he makes these really easily. And it fit a lot of pens. So then I put my pens in here as well. So then all of this just kind of fits in my dock bag because this is the legal size bag. So of course it can fit that. And because it can fit a thousand pages, like up to a thousand pages, it can withstand some width, you know? And then also, because we do a lot of scanning these days, I've got my laptop. My scanner's in my car, but I can also fit my laptop. You know, it's in a shockproof case, but I can fit it all in. And then there's still room for, you know, my documents to put inside as well. So, of course, I try to take my laptop out. Uh, I don't want to go into the signing with a very heavy bag, but once I'm in my car, that comes out. But I can just take everything, everything in here and... With my, my signed documents, I can put them in the yellow bag. And I always check my yellow bag in the morning or in the evening just to remind myself i got to drop off or I, I need to drop off in FedEx or an office or something like that. And then my like green bag for the unsigned documents that I take out as I need them throughout the day. And so all of it together, I've just got it all here. And you might think it's heavy, but it's actually not that heavy when you carry it on your wrist. I've got, I think in, in this bag right now, I've got four sets of documents. You really can't see the width, but but it's it's a lot of pages, you know? And I'm not, I should maybe do this for a workout, you know? But it's actually not that heavy, you know, for some And I noticed that after I, I made my, my first strap, you know, that uh, my strap bag, um, that in, it's just not very heavy when you carry things on your wrist. And also, um, because I'm the kind of person that forgets things a lot, um, like my wallet, I have a wristlet wallet and I use it all the time because I need a wristlet because if I've got it in my hand, I'll just leave it somewhere. I'm just kind of um, aloof like that sometimes, you know? And so I like wristlet things so that I don't have to have something in my hand and then forget it and then think, oh my God, where I left it. It was hanging on my wrist. I know it's always going to stay there. And so because I had a thing for wrists, I thought I'm going to make a giant wristlet bag, but for documents, you know? So that's why that does design idea came in my head in the first place because I just like that for when it comes to wallets and things like that. 
I made a really giant wristlet. Um, but yeah, so then this enables me to carry anything else, you know, especially when I'm getting in my car and I've got my cell phone because someone's calling me and then I just got out of signing so I've got a bunch of documents. It just makes it so easy to have everything just right here. Um, and, and not maybe not have it hanging on my back, um, like on my shoulder, because I do um, have just little back kinks that get activated when I've got some strap over my back and I'm wearing heels maybe sometimes, and then that, that really throws off my balance and just gets those tensions going in my, my vertebrae. And I mean, sometimes some of you might have that. Well, this really seems to help. You know, the weight is on your arm in this case. It isn't on the back. Um, at least it isn't for me, you know, so it really helps with that. Um, but, but I mean, especially if you balance it on both arms, and now you're balanced by weight, you know, and it's not just hanging on one side of your, your waist, let's say. But, but yeah, that's how I use my duck bags. And I mean, it's, it's handy to have different bags for different uses because you're kind of filing stuff away, you know. I guess if, if you needed a duck bag for other reasons, um, then you just kind of buy different colors to not get them confused. And, and you can take the right bag into the right place, right? Um, if that's what you do for a living, let's say you need that. But, but that's pretty much how I use my duck bag. It's pretty much a sack that's long and wide. And therefore, it can just fit a lot of stuff. It'll fit in whatever you want to put into it. It's, it's not, a, it's not a, a briefcase that's a specific width, or, I, or you can call it thickness, you know, where you can only fit, it's designed to only fit a little bit of documents and a laptop. And, and the designer made it for that, and so you can't fit anything else. You know, that's how briefcases are. This is a sack. You put whatever you want into it. You know, it's just a big old sack. So that's what I love about it, that flexibility that you can just do whatever you want. And the very strong um, handle here that you can just pull it, and I do that all the time. You just pull it, yank it, do whatever you need to, you know, during your day, and it, and it holds strong, and it can hold, I don't know how many, how, what the weight is of two, you know, reams of paper, which is a thousand pages, but it can handle it, you know? And it's held up really well. So, so that's, that's, that's how I use my dog bag myself. Every day as a notary, because I'm still a notary. I still like my job, and I'm still going through it, and this makes my job that much easier, and it makes me like my job that much more, too, to have the right tools. That always helps.